Hello learners welcome to finger tips you often hear words like hacking of computers data breach fraud and identity theft but do you know what these terms are these are cyber crimes cyber crimes are criminal activities carried out using computers and the internet that can happen to both individuals and companies if you remember in 2016 Yahoo revealed that hackers had stolen the data of almost 1 billion Yahoo users. See, it's a very real thing. So, you might be wondering, how can we protect our data from such cyber crimes? The answer is cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is the practice of protecting the systems and the information from digital attacks. It is important because it protects all categories of data from theft and damage as you know everything in this world right from purchasing your favorite products to online tickets and even transferring money now can happen in one click thanks to digitalization it undoubtedly makes your work easy but on the other side it increases the risk of security of your data let's understand it with an example of banking software the world is getting digital and with that most of your banking transactions happen online individuals like you and me use debit cards and credit cards for transactions and it is the responsibility of banks to protect these data at all cost if not done it can result in loss of consumers impact on bank reputation and theft of consumer money so how to achieve a high level of cyber security the banking sector achieves the cyber security by following certain ways the first one is multi factor authentication multi factor authentication includes giving the access to consumers for online banking after two to three login credentials this method adds an additional layer of security to confidential data of the consumer the second way is create awareness among the consumers banks are often seen giving instructions like not sharing otp or passwords on the phone and making them aware of the malpractices it is difficult to trick an active consumer into such activities and thus banking sector keeps working on making the consumer aware of the same next is anti virus and anti malware applications these applications are created to protect electronic devices like computers laptops phones and etc from malware activities anti malware programs scan a computer system to prevent detect and remove malware further the next is cyber insurance not only your health but your data also need insurance cyber insurance is the insurance policy that helps the business from cyber attacks and hacking threats also such insurance helps to pay to fix damaged systems and rebuild the data This was just the example of banking sector but various other industries like e-commerce healthcare and government also need cyber security and with this there is high demand for qualified cyber security specialist are you the one who wants to make a career in cyber security if yes then here are some of the job titles you can think of the first is computer forensic analyst a computer forensic analyst who generally works in criminal justice system is responsible to recover the hidden encrypted and deleted information for the law enforcement agencies they even provide expert insights into the court proceedings about the validity of data obtained and the best part according to glassdoor the national average salary of a forensic analyst is rupees 439000 in india the next position is malware analyst the main work of malware analyst is to identify examine and detect the working of different malware they examine earlier threats from viruses worms bots and trojans they develop malware protection tools and finally they develop and recommend the methods to avoid malware threats now Payscale says that the average basic salary of a malware analyst is rupees 6 lakh per year. Amazing, right? 
another job title you can go for is cyber security engineer a cyber security engineer is responsible for planning and managing the security measures for the organization's data taking appropriate security measure to ensure that the organization infrastructure and existing data are kept safe the average salary in india for this particular position is rupees 6 lakh 50000 last but not the least is chief information security officer CISO is responsible for managing and identifying new and emerging threats the person is also required to conduct the employee security training programs and select and purchase the security product from dealers remember this is a senior level position and thus the basic salary is whooping 22 lakhs in india apart from these there are various other titles like information security analyst network security engineer data recovery professionals security awareness training specialist and much more so wrapping it now this was all about cyber security and cyber security careers thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video subscribe to our channel now we will soon be back with more amazing videos till then happy learning